cantik. Hi everyone, just before we get into this video, just want to let you know that we bought a new camera and new microphones, especially for this video. Unfortunately, even though we tested them all the night before, on the day the settings were wrong. That resulted in some really awful audio quality. Therefore, this video is going to be a bit more of a voiceover style, a little bit different to what we normally do. We hope you don't mind. We didn't want to compromise on the quality that we normally put out, so we hope you like this different style of video and we'll be back to our normal vlogging style in the next one. So today is Malaysia Day. We woke up early as we wanted to join in with the Keratapi Sarong. We've been hearing about it over the last couple of weeks and we've been so excited for it. So we looked online and it said that we needed to meet at the MRT station and that lots of different people would be meeting up at different MRT stations across KL in order to take part in a flash mob. So Emma decided to wear her favourite Malaysia top which featured in our other video and then she also switched it up with a nice pattern skirt trying to be batik. During the walk we didn't actually see that many people around and when we arrived in the station we still couldn't see anyone so we did begin to wonder if we were actually even in the right place. However it didn't take us long to see the beginnings of the crowds as we rounded the corner at the MRT station. Jacob asked about where to get our train to and then we were given a free goodie bag. Oh my goodness I was very excited about this and don't worry we'll show you later in the video what was inside. So we headed through the gates and we saw masses of people all dressed up in their traditional clothing, singing, dancing, cheering, everything was going on and we're so impressed with how much energy people actually had at that that time in the morning. If anyone knows me well, I cannot deal with morning, so I don't know how they had so much excitement, but it was just so nice to see. We'd never seen anything like it. So this guy seemed to be popular with the crowd. Everyone was trying to take photos with him, trying to squeeze past everyone to get to him. Unfortunately, we won't lie, we had no idea who he actually was. I'm sorry, Malaysians, but I'm sure someone will be able to tell us in the comments. So drop a comment below if you do know who he is. The crowd was growing at this point and people were just coming in thick and fast we couldn't believe how many people you could actually fit into this MRT station. Everyone then started to sing Negaraku, which is the national anthem, and it was so atmospheric, it was unreal. Everyone then began singing traditional Malaysian songs which we've come to know and love over the last few weeks. At this point people all started sitting down and then a giant call and response game was started between the different sections of the crowd. We didn't really have any idea of what was going on but we just tried our best to join in and actually I think our team won in the end so that was pretty good. They started throwing these voucher things into the crowd because we were the winning team. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Here's me giving my best attempt at an Asian squat whilst trying not to knee the girl in front of me. Thankfully, a kind local explained to me what was actually happening in the game. After this, everyone then started getting up and making a beeline for the train so we knew we had to move fast because we did not want to get stuck behind everyone. On our way over to the escalators these lovely girls wanted to take a photo with us so shout out to them, drop us a comment if you're watching. We'd never seen the MRT like this before it was absolutely crazy. Are you a little hot there? No of course not. We had no idea how everyone was going to fit on the train. The train pulled up and we managed to squeeze our way on. It wasn't without its casualties though as at this point we realised that Jacob had lost his flag. RIP flag, gone but never forgotten. 
one. What was nice as well is that even though everyone did kind of try and squeeze their way on, people didn't fully cram onto the train, which gave everyone a comfortable journey. We weren't crammed in there like sardines. It wasn't long before the singing began, making for a very enjoyable journey. <laughs> at Passaceni and just followed the crowd. It was so nice to see everyone in such good spirits just enjoying themselves, letting their hair down, you know, just having a really good time. So at this time another train arrived full of people who were also taking part in Keratapi Sarong. Everyone just united and erupted into shouting, hollering, whistling. It was just so amazing like it gives me goosebumps thinking about it we also met some really nice locals on the escalators who welcomed us to malaysia and asked about our travel so far everyone was just waving their flags they were cheering laughing yeah and just generally having a good time it was amazing the atmosphere and it was just such a brilliant start to the day i then got chatting to this guy with an amazing hat he told me it was made by a tribe in borneo and just as he's explaining to me about his hat air asia arrived <laughs> Everyone continued singing and dancing as we left the MRT station at Passaceni. So at this point a lady came along to part the crowd to make way for the different MRT teams to come through. Everyone was cheering as they came past, it was such a cool moment. So we continued to follow the crowds through to Madeka Square, it was crazy busy at this time, really really packed in, but everyone remained in good spirits, looking forward to the day ahead. And though it was hot, we were kept entertained with this drumming group. It was pretty impressive how in time they were all with one another, considering how busy and cramped it was. After a very exciting, very busy, very sweaty journey, we arrived at Madeka Square. There was even a crowd of people cheering as we entered. What a welcome. This group, which I think were a group of students, arrived just as we did and made their way to the main stage, screaming and shouting. It was great. <laughs> At this point we decided to come away from the crowds for a bit, sit down, cool down, take a breather. We certainly can't keep up with the Malaysians. So we decided to show you what was in the goodie bag. And as you can see, Emma was very impressed with the freebies. So we both got a calf face wash, some stickers, some amina lip serum. Don't. 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 <laughs> some Wardour SPF and some money off vouchers. Emma couldn't resist trying out the lip serum straight away, of course. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't long before we got even more freebies. Four packets of M&Ms. <laughs> As you can see, we were super pleased. Though Emma could eat chocolate all day, we ended up wandering around in search of a real breakfast and they had loads of options on offer. There was churros, instant noodles, chendol, ayam goreng, but we settled on one of our favourites which was dim sum. Can't go wrong really, can you? So we got six pieces for 10 ringgit which is a bag and they were very good. So Jacob was soon drawn into the firefighter tent, checking out their muscles and asking them about which gym they go to. They actually invited us to come into the back of the tent for a photo which was pretty cool. Hey the Aban Bomba are legends in Malaysia and anyway you definitely weren't complaining. After meeting my heroes we then noticed a football game was going on so we went and had a little watch and there was this lovely lady who was just so interested in who we were, what we were doing, our time in Malaysia. She was just yeah full of energy. I loved it. <laughs> We 
came across this cat who was dressed up for the day. Definitely one of the strangest things I've ever seen, but he did look pretty cool and was clearly loving all the attention. I just had to go and say hello and have a little stroke. Emma is such a crazy cat lady. As we walked around to the back of Deteran Medeka, I was then volunteered to join in with some of the games. So I believe it's Rampano, which is walking on stilts. There's also Terompa Garagasi, which is a giant clog everyone fits in and you just have to race each other, which I also would not recommend on such a hot day I was boiling. We had to strategize as team at Malaysia Bolle. We weren't going to lose this one. Little warm up dance there to get you in the spirits, was it? Yeah. The race begins, off we go. And as you see, we were very determined and clearly the strategizing worked. I'm so glad we did it. <laughs> Also loads of other organizations which were being represented there including this guy who was part of the Coast Guard. Back near the main stage they also went for the world record of the longest tetaric which means pulled tea and I was low-key gutted not to be part of it. So we headed up onto the main stage when everything had died down. This girl actually came up to us and asked to take a photo of us for her journalism project. It was actually really, really nice talking to her. So we stopped up on water and a Vietnamese coffee which was very much needed at this point. And after we picked up the coffees we literally turned the corner and spotted the Milo truck. So we made a beeline for it, it was such a long queue but it had to be done. The most depressing thing of the day was that I got three from the front and the truck actually ran out of Milo, I could have cried at the time. There was so much to see and do throughout the day including a climbing wall, a traditional Malaysian game called Capte, blow darts I believe, archery, kabaddi which is a game where I believe an attacker needs to touch the opposing team as many times without getting caught. It looked absolutely brutal though, just watch this. They also had gassing which we had very little clue of what was actually happening but thankfully this legend called Serville, he explained some of the game to me. They also had tug of war which seemed to be split into countries. Food to eat on Malaysia Day than chaf kway tiao, some iconic Malaysian food. I feel like I've been more and more in love with chaf kway tiao, especially after we had it in Penang. This it looks like, like really saucy though. The noodles aren't as big as they normally are, they're normally a lot like, mm. thicker than this. Mm. Is it spicy? A little bit. Yeah, it's got a really nice flavour to it actually. Oh damn, that's nice. Yeah, it's a lot more soupy than normal. It's still got like a really nice flavour to it, hasn't it? Yeah. So this time we got a grape drink. Stay hydrated people, this drink was so good. Free drink also. A tetaric as well. And it's free also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no way. 
Is this Quay Lapis? Is that yeah. correct? And How then do you know? I like Quay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you. about Harry yeah. Malaysia. Thank you. I was literally just going to go and buy the Quay. But I know, I was just I'll about to buy it. I was like, there's Quay there, let's go and get some. <laughs> oh, cheers. It's really nice as well. Oh, yeah, that is good. So with our Quay and Taitarik in hand, we decided to head back to the MRT. Next time for this one, it's made of polymer. Polymer? Ah. This is an uh, innovative one. Oh, really? And this is uh, traditional? Yeah, all these are traditional gasset. It's so nice. Is you look so handsome, more ah, handsome. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. Ling, Ling Lui. <laughs> Okay. Ling Lui. The one is Chinese. Oh. Color in Malay, Chanti. Chanti. Uh -huh. Chanti is beautiful. Ah. Uh, handsome is Tampan Kaca. Tampan Kaca. Kaca. Yeah. Ah. That one is handsome. Ah, oh, thank you. So most of you are handsome couple. Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, look, it's being live streamed. All right, wait here. A lovely day and a perfect way to end it with Jacob playing the piano I absolutely love hearing him play the piano and obviously don't get to hear it very often these days so yeah perfect end to the day it was a brilliant day but I feel like I want to do it all over again now that I know what to expect but I guess we can come back next year once again we do apologize about this different type of video but we do hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching until the end we really do appreciate it despite the different type of video if you did like the video feel free to drop it a like give us a comment and if you haven't already please do feel free to subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and it really does help support our channel so thank you Malaysia it's honestly been such a great day we enjoyed ourselves so much everyone like with Madeka day was just so beautiful kind everyone was just in their best spirits and we were there for it we absolutely loved it I guess all that's left to say is Salamat Harry Malaysia. Malaysia see you in the next one bye